Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss one more insight of me that is how to create virtual environments in Ubuntu. By the way, I am using Ubuntu 16.4 which is by the way the latest version of Ubuntu. So what are virtual environments? Virtual environments are, are important because by these we can create uh, two different uh, versions of um, anything. For example, I can see that the uh, default Python version in my Ubuntu terminal is 2.7.11, but I can uh, still upgrade to Python 3.5.1 by creating a virtual environment. You can see that uh, I have two different Pythons in my system. Uh, uh, by the way, this is not uh, uh, an example of. Uh, virtual environment as you can see if I write python I will go to the uh, python terminal I will import Django on the python and then I will uh, print the Django version so uh, this video is uh, about uh, create, uh, creating uh, Django uh, uh, creating a virtual environment of Django so you can uh, take uh, this as how to create a virtual environment and how to install the code. So, first of all, uh, I have to tell you that Zango 1.9.7 is out and uh, still we are using 1.8.7, so this is not good. <laughs> and I, want, I still want to keep 1.8, but I want to keep this Django in a separate folder. So, uh, Let's create this folder. First of all, I will go to my uh, documents where I want to create this uh, folder. I will create uh, uh, keep its name as YouTube in Django. I will go to um, this folder. Um, no, let's do something else. Let's, let's create, uh, uh, get to the basic first I will write sudo apt-get install python pip python 3 pip this will ask my password I will type in the password choose that it is already done because I have already done it you might be different then I will install then I will install pip and by using that command then I will write sudo apt-get install virtual env that is an installing virtual environment package in the base apt-get system now I'm going in that I've created uh, back in my this tutorial I will see into I will create the virtual environment by virtual dot uh, so the command is virtual env dot okay so it's installing inside it so the virtual environment has been created i can uh, type in these commands like first of all I, I will have to activate this virtual environment that I have created, uh, I can use this source bin activate command. So, uh, to activate, you can see behind the directory YouTube Django is written. So, the virtual environment is activated. You have to use uh, this command always. You want to activate this, uh, uh, this folder. So, I will use pip freeze to show all the installation inside. So, there is nothing I will, I will use to install Django 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.7. That particular Django thing I want to install. If I don't want to install, I will uh, straight right to install Django. This will bring the newest version. So uh, I can still do pip freeze to find out the um, various installation you can see that Django is there with the latest version 
and then I can use the Django commands, the basic Django commands. That is, and start project my site. to show the various so my site is uh, uh, created thing by it means if I start a this project you can see the various constructions the manager py is created now he can use the deactivate command to deactivate the, the virtual environment to activate we are going to resource to pin activate again but that's all for this tutorial thanks guys for watching do like and this video and do like and subscribe to the channel thank you very much